Welcome back to Sarcast episode four. Uh, I am Broads Bagodes. We have our normal guests, or we our normal co-hosts, Wheezy Jacket and Popcorn the Beaver with us. But today we have our first ever um, extra guest along for the Sarcast. And today we're going to be hanging out with Wulu. Wulu, how are you? I am perfect. Awesome. Some quick stats about yeah. Wulu. Um, Wulu has been playing since 6 2021, level 3,397. It has a ton of crazy stats, some of the coolest ones I see. Bow and Sparrow kills, number three in the world. Dancing in the rain, number four in the world. And Hamster Ball kills, top 50 as well. So a lot of shenanigans to be had. Excited today, we're going to be talking about um, game modes from top to bottom, solos, duos, squads, and then we're going to hit up some of these alternate game modes and talk about what we would like to see for the future. All right, let's get started. All right. I feel like that was done. solid. That was solid. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> All right. Nailed it. So, uh, if you would like to follow along with us, we're going to be using the SAR wiki under the category game modes, and we're really going to be going from top to bottom. So yeah. start off with the most basic thing, right? This was the original game mode, right? It didn't start out with duos or squads, right? It was just solos. Uh, it was solos and duos. I would agree. Yeah. You had an option to play with a friend, but it was just limited to duos and solos. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll read out the uh, wiki description of solos to get a brief like rundown. Uh, yeah, so to say it, uh, solo, the Bleh, good grammar. The player versus 63 other super animals is a free for all game mode for Super Animal Royale. And then they just go on to say teaming is by no means allowed and reportable, blah, blah, blah. Point is, it's your typical BR, 2D, top down. You already know what it is if you're watching this podcast. It's solo. So you're just by yourself trying to win. Uh, it definitely is a much more unique playing field compared to literally every other mode in the game because some of the features just aren't able to be used like you can't really heal people with the dart gun you can heal emus but you can't yeah. heal people because you know you don't have a teammate uh and the mode really emphasizes a lot more 1v1 knowledge it kind of forces you to really look at a fight as, ah yes, I'm playing footsies with this one person in front of me, whereas I can't rely on anybody else to help me. You also so, can't really ping uh, any form yeah, of item. There's, there's a lot less like uh, info, there's a lot less like searching, like you can't get your squad to just kind of like roam around the map saying, oh yeah, I got to mole, or oh yeah, I got to like uh, this crate right here, it's got an M16, anybody want it? It's like, no, it's all you. You have to make your own decisions, evaluate what you think is good for you, and sort of take initiative off that. And that's what makes it stressful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, that's a good question, actually. What game mode do you guys find the most stressful? Because actually, I wouldn't say solos. I would say if I'm on stream playing squads with random players and everyone can is just not on the same page overall, that could be more stressful if I'm actually trying to win, if I'm doing a challenge. Like 99% right. of the time, yeah. no game mode is gonna stress me out, but I'm talking about like when I'm doing like a win challenge or a kill challenge, protect the president, something like that. I feel like for me, actually squads is the most stressful game because in solos, yeah. I feel like I get to like affect my own destiny. For me, it's always been that like solos has been the more stressful one for me because, well, it's a mix actually, because I could say both solos and SVR, which will bring up the future, because uh, with SVR, it's a little bit more apparent because I used to play the game mode a ton back in, I guess, uh, its initial like state launch of um, 2.0. And I just kept playing it and I started getting recognized as, oh yeah, you're the SVR guy. And there was a lot of weight put on me to get like a good 24 upward to like 40 something kills every game or else i'd get clowned on oh that's true and doing that live like hurt, like, like, yeah. <laughs> i always felt like i had to like play optimally and there was always like gambles to see if i'd win or fail and it was really depressing to see people start to vote against me <laughs> but <laughs> still uh i will say that solos is much more complex for me because i have terrible aim and one of the things you really need to like bring up for solos is good aim because good aim. it's 1v1 knowledge like you need to be able to just 
take into account you're just fighting this other person because in the end it's going to be you versus someone else. Uh, so yeah, it's always been stressful for, for me, especially at the end because I could have like my favorite loadout, a tier 3, full health, going into like a 1v1 at the very end with somebody who just spins around in a circle and I'd be like, oh god, the anxiety's rising, even though it's very winnable, it just gets to my head. Hmm. Well, actually, before we even continue, this is kind of biting at me right now. What is everyone's favorite game mode? If you could take any every game mode, including the alt game modes, what is your favorite to play? You'll have the most consistent enjoyment doing this one. Say so yeah, SVR. I oh, like SVR. the variety in it. Got you. Uh, SVR. SVR as well. Okay. And Wulu? Oh, it's definitely squats. I just find it's very enjoyable playing with friends. Gotcha. Um, I would probably okay. unironically say mystery mode, even though I've only played two mystery modes. Because, like, I remember, like, the top five times I've laughed the hardest being in, like, playing Super Animal Royale. I'm pretty sure four of them are during mystery mode. Because just the Dude. craziest, stupidest things happen in that game mode, I swear. I so, remember when it came out yeah. for the first time and I saw Banana Rama and I just, like, started. F I found a minigun. I hadn't shot a gun yet till I found a minigun because, like, weird looting priority i shot it and i see this volley of bananas come out of my gun i just laughed my ass off it's just i just love that mode all right so now it that we have, have that any other notes for um solos before we move on to the dubs i mean no, actually let me ask this real really. quick do you think that dark gun should have any other change if it doesn't have half of its effectiveness in solos I still think that like the ability to heal emus is quite nice. Oh, okay. I didn't think about the whole that. Whole dynamic with emus is it's similar in solos, but it's very different. That like you don't have a squad to like back up the tank that is the emu, when in reality you are the tank yourself. And when that thing dies, it's just you. So it's really interesting to like really fixate what the dark gun allows. I still do think that like. The dart gun is weaker in solos than it would be in something like duos or squads, just by the inherent fact that half of its use case does not exist outside of just emu. But I think that it's just enough to where it's still fine. Yeah. I think it's fine as well. It's just yeah, I kind of you, about that. you really want to use dart gun if you want to have like a sneaky playstyle, I would say. Or if you just want to be a medic. Yeah, you're just popping in and out like a situation. Dart flies, it's a whole other yeah. monster because you see good two third people party just shoot in the general direction of them and you'll hit something. Yep. So, um, one more thing I just noticed. No one said Walking Dead. What is what is our overall... F you know what? You know what? Let me not get ahead of myself because we're going to talk about Walking we'll Dead We'll get later. to that. Yeah, we're we're going to get to that. Let's go, ahead yeah, and, gonna... yeah, let's go ahead and hit up the duos. If anyone wants to read the overall description that it gives. Uh, should I read it again or should? Yeah, I'll, I'll just be the wiki reader yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the player and a teammate versus 31 other teams of two. If an animal's bleh, if an animal's duo partner dies, they can still win the match if the surviving partner is the last one standing. You also now have the ability to resurrect someone by, you know, walking over to their little... Uh, down state animation, which you know, you slowly trickle your health away. You raise them in about like, was it six seconds? I forget the. I think it's like six. Time. Yeah. But uh, something that a lot of people don't know just about the down state is that each time you go down, your health drains faster in that down state. And I think it caps out at like three downs. Yeah. Uh, like, at anything first, above that, it's, it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna like, be yeah. Very, your health your health good. degrades fast when it, you like get down multiple times. So yeah. that's something that not a lot of people know, but it's just worth mentioning. But uh, I guess to like start off, I personally think that duos is the sweatiest mode in the game, just outright. Really? It's always been a very large opinion of mine that like take it with like solos. There's a lot of chaos that goes on in solos, and even if it's like oh yeah, it's like one v one knowledge. I think that there's a limit to the capabilities of just what one person can do. And then you go over to something like squads where it's like, 
yes, you have a lot of, you have like four people, and there's a lot to manage there, but it's inherently chaotic, and there's less squads to like fight against. There's only 16. And yep. there's like these little turf wars, and a lot of it can get lost within the heat of the combat, like you're not paying attention to a lot of things. Whereas something like duos, I think it's just with one-on-one, -on -one, two people interacting with each other, there's just enough communication to say, hey, go do this, and you can kind of just work together with that one person. Things like the dart guns gets allowed to use. You can pull off the uh, old Nub Mikey and Sayo strat, where one person's the aggressor and one person's support. And you can just... It, it just feels a lot more inherently like, oh yeah, there's a lot more information to be shared in a condensed area, whereas one is hyper chaotic with everything going on, and one just seems to be lacking in a lot of the information sharing. But that's just from like my view over the years. I think it might have like changed, because different people, different times. I haven't played as much duos nowadays as I have like things like squats and solos and limited time modes. That's actually super interesting, though. Does anyone else agree with that or disagree with that? What do you uh, think is the I mean, sweatiest game mode between solos, duos, and squads? Mm. Honestly, it could be duos. I do agree with this. Yeah, People are really duos, organized there. Duos can be very competitive, but uh, squads is a little more intense, though, if you're very coordinated. Yeah, yeah so what, what word did you use, Popcorn? Like when you well, were talking about, did you just say is. sweatiest? Sorry, did you say sweatiest? The sweatiest game mode is duos? Personally, I think it's like the sweatiest game mode when you really boil it down to the okay, most yeah. average case of I'm, it. I might agree with you then, because I've done a lot of alphabet duos and those feel really stressful when there's only one person to like have your back instead of like a squad with multiple people. I would just probably yeah. for squads use the word like intense, like who just said that, Wheezy? I uh, like um, intense or Yeah, I think squads I is more intense because four players holding four grenades and then you're playing an impromptu game Which, of dodgeball yeah, and this player has a dart gun and these two players are running an emu and running it's at you. It's too much and... information. Holy like, moly. Okay. No, no, I think I'm Something's going to get actually. lost when you're like really in the heat of the moment. You're just going to be like, oh, I didn't factor in that because I was paying attention to these guys. Yeah. It's I mean, duos is also, you have to take in consideration, like, if you're teaching someone the game, I think duos is also a good start. Yeah. Because it teaches people how to coordinate a little more. I wouldn't That's really, why... if I was playing duos with someone who's new, I uh, I wouldn't send them into squads. It's it's a little too rough. I would no, say. yeah, absolutely. So duos always... is probably the best bet. And I actually, uh, there I've actually proven that over time by my, like, statistical gathering for a lot of the new players i found that well yes some people like learn the game on a uh, different basis it's like obviously people are going to be like oh yeah i learned faster than this other guy people like javaro literally learned every bit of the game mechanics i think by level 50 and dude was just participating in tournaments before he even got his first gem color change but there are some people that i find that when they play in squads there's a lot more confusion and it's harder for them to like factor in things versus when they play with duos even if it's just two new players playing in duos i do find that they learn the game's mechanics faster and sort of learn to play within the game's rule set and like benefits of what it can give you more efficiently by just playing in duos versus something like squads yeah I do agree with this. When I started playing, I found some good players and started playing duos with them. And I've done it for many, many hours. And it really helped me understand how the game works. Duos, solid yep. option. Bring your friends, teach them. It'll be pretty fun. I mean, I've done that. I've done that with my IRL friends. That was what I did when Phantom Dirgwolf was teaching me the game. You know, I brought my dad in and we and my father did duos. Like, yeah. it's it's a lot of fun, it's hilarious. Um, yeah, I do that with like VTubers. So. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's uh, hit up squads now. So like we said, probably the most stressful. Uh, yeah, game mode there's a lot. And squads. It was so not I, an I original game to... mode, so. No, that's uh, true, yeah. Speak on that. So, 
Uh, back in 2019, when I first played, the game only had solos and duos as as a, an option, and like there would be moments where Pixel would announce squad weekends, so uh, you could That's invite crazy. buddies to play squads on the weekend, and they did that for for a couple months until they actually implemented the mode and it was a lot of fun so i think that's what gained a yeah. bunch of traction to yeah, the squad weekend squads was technically the first limited time game mode to come yep. into the game huh uh, i guess like just to quickly read the wiki description the player with three other teammates versus 15 other squads if any animal squad mate dies they can still win the match if their squad is the last one standing uh, it's generally the same like rules as duos, except well now you have two more people on your team, and there's also 15 other teams of four people. Uh, yeah. But like we were saying back in duos, it generally is the most intense and I'd say chaotic mode. I wouldn't say the mode with the most going on because I feel like that stems to other limited time modes. But in squads, on a vanilla setting, there's a lot that can go on. Like. In any given scenario, let's say, just for a hypothetical, uh, two squads meet each other at, what's a good open area? Middle Bamboo, where there's a lot of just like open space, and then another squad shows up. You now have 12 people fighting each other, and that's like just three squads. It doesn't like sound like that much, because, you know, obviously like people play the game and like they see the situation all the time, but when you really boil it down, those are 12 different people, all making different interactions, all trying to factor in the other 11 people that they're looking at. It yeah. can get really messy really fast. It's really it hard to pay attention to everything. Yeah, it can raise drastically when there's a lot of gunshots involved and explosions, because people will flock to that like moss to a flame. They want loot. Yep. And um, a lot of things open up in squads. Obviously, we're talking dart fly with all the bounce arenos. Absolutely. That's like ultimate emus. effective. Emus, BCG. double ridden emus. Stronger. Yeah, BCG, um, all of these things. So it opens up a lot of extra little weird gameplay things as well that you wouldn't normally think of. Um, nope. Even like we didn't discuss this, so we're talking about duos, skunk gassing a two of your teammates so that they yeah. can like, yeah. res to provide the skunk gas. Like, very um, underrated strategy. Very underrated. Yep, um, I've I've been trying to apply that in squads. Yeah. yeah so just a lot, so of, uh, a lot of a lot of interesting hectic. little things. Hectic, stressful, everything in between. Any other comments? Willu, you've played a ton of squads, by the way. That's true. A ton of squads. That is your most played by 7,000 games to your next highest one. 12.5,000. So you have 12.5,000, which that is on the board, even account by the way. private matches. Yeah, so. And I enjoyed each one of them. Yeah, It's so. really fun game mode. It's just hard to really keep up with everything that's happening. And draw both, for example, become much more dangerous in this game mode. Oh, absolutely. Don't pay attention yeah. for a second. It, you're just dead if someone's throwing grenades at you. Well, let me ask. What's your go-to uh, setup when you're playing... Uh, squads like what kind of role do you like to fill what kind of weapons are you using or is it really just whatever comes before i was using weapons that i just like but recently i just use weapons depending on what kind of players i'm fighting if there's a lot of good squads you need um, to separate them because that's the only one to beat them otherwise i prefer playing things like the dark gun it's just really fun to heal teammates yeah, playing you can support play playstyle is very fun, yeah. I actually got to run into Wulu yesterday while I was streaming Mystery Mode, and they had their own squad in Wulu. Mystery Mode, and we had <laughs> several nice back and forths. I'm pretty sure it ended up they killed us four out of five times over several games, and we killed them once. Who are you playing with, Wulu? You're playing with Extensive Axolotl. Was it Artie? Artie and Kunku. And yeah. And uh, they were uh, steamrolling some mystery mode games. But very fun. We'll talk about mystery mode soon. Oh, wait. Quickly, though, actually. Oh, maybe. yeah. Go for it. Before actually, we wrap right up, now. like, uh, squads, um, I would like to point out that when I when we said that, like, squads wasn't always around, 
that also applies to when they were actually starting to introduce limited time game modes because what they did yep. is that they just straight up replaced squads with the original version of SVR for when it came out. Like, it literally was just squads was gone. I think at one point they actually did yeah, remove they duos, did. but I don't fully remember. I they and they were just trying to see, oh, maybe we could just remove a mode in exchange for this mode to get people to play this mode. And obviously people were like, eh, but I like the vanilla version of this mode. So they made the limited time mode section and said, but yes, there was a time where if you just enjoyed squads and one day it would just be like, poof, now it's gone, play SVR. Uh... <laughs> It, it was it was definitely very weird to play around that time, but whenever yeah, they introduced it, it, they usually brought along double XP alongside of it, so people weren't really complaining that much. But yeah, that's just something I wanted to briefly mention about squads. Yep. So we moving on to the next yes. game mode? Or? Yeah, I did a little mention on Mystery Mode, but here we are. Top of the limited time game modes. The first one on the wiki is Mystery Mode. Uh, pop, also the pop, most read rare. Sentence. Read that uh, sentence. So for limited time modes, just in general, just to get it as an understanding, they rotate in and out. They are limited, and it's usually, well, pretty much always bi-weekly between... Uh, modern day Saw vs. Rebellion, aka SVR 2.0, and Walking Dead, but as of recent, being, well, throughout this week, uh, Mystery Mode has been rotated in, and then yeah, from Walking it'll, I think. yeah, and then it'll be rotated out, and then it goes back to the regular cycle, but I do believe that in one of their recent Twitter announces, they did say that they'd be working on Mystery Mode, and hopefully yeah, they plan to actually get it into... Brody, put the tweet on the board. Thank you. Sorry, I was yeah. reading myself. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah no they're, they're trying to actually get it to be like oh yeah alongside the other modes which i have some reservations about how the limited time mode structure even works to begin with but i feel like that's a whole other subject matter in general but yes to get to mystery mode what it basically is is it is a squad based game mode which you know takes place as in squads uh with a randomized riff different each game i don't know what Riff means in that regard, but hey, whoever like, I think they're trying to insinuate uh, modifiers. Yeah, but like in either way, weird word choice. Oh well. In every game, you have you have the chance to get one of the seven following game modes. In which case, just to briefly run through it, Banana Rama, which makes every gun bullet bananas. They don't actually slip people by the gun bullet. They just you know become banana projectiles. It's just a cute little whatever but bananas spawn more frequently grenades and skunk bombs are banished and every time it rains it will be banana rain uh wild west you get a little funny cowboy hat and you can only pick up magnum and hunting rifle but oh and bananas sorry but to be specific actually something interesting about this mode you can get a epic and legendary version of both the magnum and hunting rifle and a legendary hunting rifle can one shot someone which it's very concerning. Uh, shotguns and snipers, yep. pretty much exactly how it sounds. It's shotguns and snipers, and it can be found in any rarity of shotgun and sniper being like common all the way through legendary of a shotgun or sniper. It's also pretty cool to see. Uh, two very easy ones to understand. Super slow bullets, all weapons shoot with 50% bullet speed as of normal and super fast bullets all weapon shoots with 200% bullet speed as compared to normal and then there's handguns only pistols dual pistols silence pistols magnums and deagles will spawn that's the only thing that spawns and quite possibly the most beloved out of all of them one hit kill which you'll just get one shot <laughs> so yep uh something interesting for one hit kill skunk gas does move 25% faster, including the warning time. So it is faster. Wait, 25 or 20? Modes. Oh, sorry, 20%. My mistake. Okay. Uh, yes. 20% faster. Uh, armor doesn't matter. It doesn't spawn. And even if it did, uh, it doesn't matter because you'll still yeah, be one shot no regardless. Grades and skunks are disabled because no duh. But oddly enough, I don't know if cat mines are disabled. I haven't played one hit in a minute, but I'd assume they are. If not, that's stupid. But uh, yeah, it might need to be updated there. I'm pretty yeah. sure they are disabled. Okay, thank God. Anyway, wow. yeah, this but is... everything one hits 
that's basically how it works. Sorry for the long explanation. Yeah. Mystery mode. Yeah, seven game modes, lots to talk about. Well, one, actually, we'll, we'll wait until we get back down there. Let's go back up to bananas for now. Actually, real quick, what is everyone's favorite game mode? I'm interested to hear. Favorite mine out is, of the seven. Mine is super slow bullets for a very wow, stupid Wow, that's my least favorite. Okay, go ahead. So it's for a very dumb reason, and that's whenever I see super slow bullets, I don't care if I'm in a squad or by myself, I go, hee hee ha, pacifist time. Time oh, to ruin okay, some people's that. days. I understand that. I just, Sorry. I want to be a menace to society. But anyway, yeah, what's your favorite game mode? Easy, what do you got? Uh, I think Wild West is my favorite. Wild West. And I, I, I've, actually, I've actually suggested Wild West mode uh, Interesting. back in the day. I remember that suggestion, yeah. All right, Wulu. I suggested it plenty of times. I think it would be Banana Rama for me. I just think it's really silly, and that's what I like about the game. Wow, okay. And so this game mode in general. We have four different answers because I love Shotgun and Sniper because I love playing double sniper. I'll literally just pick up a blue and a purple, purple and a purple, whatever I can, and just play two snipers in my loadout because I just love using the snipers. I think it's very fun. Um, I so, think that's a good part about Mystery Mode actually is that everybody does kind of have their favorite of yeah, all the modes, that's, but they're that's all cool. pretty fun for the most part. Obviously, a lot of people dislike Super Soul Bullets, and I love taking advantage of that. But yeah, is that I, I, so fast one? Yeah. Much. Outside of that, though, I think that all the modes are genuinely enjoyable on the most part. But everybody does have their favorite, and that's why I think it's such a great mode. But it also benefits from the fact that. This mode is extremely rare. It shows up like every six months. And it's even like then, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Usually it's to, I feel like from past experience, it's either on April Fools or like early-ish summer times. Cause I do know that like last time I was here, I think it was in the summer, but it's, it's kind of just like a, well, the boogeyman of game modes, it shows up every once in a while, and when it does, everyone's like, oh, it's here! And then they just make monkey noises, because funny mode, but... It definitely is a favorite in the community, and I do think that it's because it's rare. Yeah. I think as of now, because, like, originally, not many people really uh, played a lot of Mystery Mode, because I think that's when the community was still growing, but... Oh, definitely, um, yeah. But they, the devs have mentioned that they do plan on reworking it, maybe sometime after the project. So Yeah, I know. and that'll, um, be like a, that'll be a top priority for them. I do want to say, before we leave this, I would like to ask uh, to follow up on that tweet of what sort of suggestions or things that you would like to see um, to the game mode to make it even more fun, to make people even... or to miss it even more if it's gone. Or maybe your answer is to have it around more consistently. Um, uh, but real quick, I did want to say, I did not know until you read that popcorn, I did not know that the skunk gas is 20% faster and the warning times. I I, I have never either. realized that. Is that real? I thought real? I was tripping when I was in that mode. Oh, yeah, is that real? Like I think it makes sense because it would slow down the game quite a lot. You know? yeah, yeah, that's, that's because... crazy. Yeah, I know, because everyone mm. just wants to camp on the outside if they can yeah, just get who, hit with one bullet yeah. across the map. I assume that like in... Uh, probably whatever testing that they were doing for it they probably thought that many people were just like oh yeah they're just gonna camp on the ring so we gotta make the ring faster that's probably yeah. what they figured out they tried they tried to insinuate to make it faster i'd say yeah and is what... not really a slow paced uh, game oh definitely <laughs> not general. one, one of the fastest people one more thing to mention about the one hit kill game as well, which I feel like a lot of people love it, but I feel like a lot of people's first reaction is to instantly try to find a dart gun or dart fly. How do you feel about that reaction? Should that be changed? Should you be able to hit one person with a dart and they're just instantly evaporated for the ge from the game with no, <laughs> no changes? I just, like it should be limited to like precision weapons. Yeah, because like um, remove special weapons altogether. No, no, just make it so the game mode only has precision weapons. What so, do you mean by that then? Like magnums, like you, magnums, eagles, sniper, bowie. Things that would require you to actually really think about where you're shooting. Because hmm. I think yeah. I do definitely agree that basically whenever I play one hit, the first thing I immediately gravitate toward is trying to find any burst fire weapon whatsoever. Because 
All I have to do is spin in a circle and I'll kill someone, but... Yeah. I do definitely think that Sniper is a very sleeper pick in one hit, because if you are heavily accurate, it is a monster, because you just say, no, you're not approaching me, no, you're not approaching me, and it's just... It's a high risk yeah. card. I think it yeah, should no, just that's the best way to say it. towards precision weapons. Rather I, than just using it would be a pretty good way to balance it, but I think that by nature it was designed to be chaotic, and I feel like it's part of the chaos that you can get rewarded for having precision, but you can also just pick up an SMG and spin in a circle. Wulu, you have a lot of kills on Dart Fly and uh, Dart Gun. What do you think about the interaction in one hit? I prefer weapons that are quiet, just because you can hide somewhere. For example, mm. behind a tree and shoot somebody that they That's don't know true. what's happening. I didn't really think about that as well. It definitely is a quiet Very weapon. Quiet. Yeah. Because with the with the sniper, my favorite actually is like the the chick or the zombie sniper. You just shoot it and it's like Wah! it's really loud. Everyone will know where you are the second you fire <laughs> I think it. I know what you're talking about. Isn't that I, I know, I know it is client sided, but I just love hearing it because I know damn well that it makes the actual sniper noise. Yeah. And they did yeah. change up the audio for uh, gunshots. I think was it like early last year? I don't remember when it was, but I do remember that they made sounds like a lot more hollow and a lot more like echoey ish, but. It is louder in general. Echoey so, is crazy. I, I don't know how to describe it. I'm sorry. But the <laughs> point is, you can definitely tell when someone's using a sniper versus when someone's using a dart gun because of the whole noise difference. So I do definitely agree with Hulu on that part. It is a very silent weapon. Um, Mr. Mode, ton of fun. Uh, tweet here by Sar itself they replied to one of their or they replied to the um the original tweet where they were saying mystery mode was coming back and they said we'd like to revamp mystery mode in the future to bring it up to the same standard as our other limited time modes so let us know how you uh would like to see it evolve in the future and we'll be returning our attention to it and other modes once the super secret project is released first takes on that tweet period I think it's definitely good that they are going to be working on it. Bit afraid that it's taking a lengthy amount of time, but hey, if it's going to be worked yeah. on, it's going to be worked on, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, does, a little bit of worry, but it, yeah. It does uh, insinuate that they're trying to be a little more transparent with what they do. So they said uh, they'll be returning their attention to it after... And, or just simply and other modes uh, once the project's released. So yeah. I'm hoping there's a little more transparency with that, but that's it's just a sign. I think mystery mode's pretty fun, like as is, but it definitely could use its improvement. Do you guys yeah. actually agree with them when they say to bring it up to standard as our other limited type modes? That is the, that is the part of the tweet that kind of confused me because I don't see it as above or below any of the other limited time game modes, you know? Here's the thing about mystery mode, and I made this like post way back in the day and the feedback before even like the whole up and down vote system was even added to it. Whereas when they were introducing the uh, bi-weekly rotation concept for modern day SVR and Walking Dead, I just straight up said, this is not a good idea, as it would cause boredom within the modes. People get really bored of something that they have, like, excess of. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing, overall. Because mm -hmm. when you actually give someone whatever they want, eventually they're going to start complaining. And when you take it away, going back to the state before, they'll complain about not having it. So yeah, it's the same way with Mystery Mode. It's a bit of a recessive cycle, and that's what I feel like sort of is different about Mystery Mode, is that it's since it's not always there, people haven't played enough of it to get bored of it. And in that case, it is, I would say, probably the most well-liked game mode in the whole community, because it's rare. If you look at the mode, it's not really that much different like compared to squads, and when you compare it to something like Walking Dead or SVR, 
those boats have an insane amount of stuff going on in them. Whereas with mystery mode, it's just squads, but you have a modifier each round. It's very like close to vanilla, so people who like vanilla but a little bit of spice in there do appreciate it, but when they say bring it up to standard, I think they're trying to mean, oh yeah, they're trying to add a lot of things to it that would make it a lot more chaotic, a lot more creative, and to such a standard, whereas if they will put it in the bi-weekly rotation, it will be enough that it feels like the other modes in terms of their uh, chaos level of just having a lot going on. I do think that it would probably honestly be best to just have these modes either rotate at a different time frame. I don't know the exact amount of time for each mode to like make it be like appropriate without people complaining that much, but I think that once they put mystery mode, once the genie's out of the bottle, it's not going back inside. So once it gets put in, taking it away, you can't. So they have to yep. be careful about that. <clears throat> Woodley, what do you think? Mystery mode, better or worse than the other li limited time modes? Oh, it's much better than the other. <laughs> <laughs> so, I cannot say anything else. That is, Just that is opinions, why right? that part of it was confusing. All right, I didn't want to. I don't want to spend the rest of the time because we are going to have a discussion about Walking Dead as well as SVR, and Weezy yeah. and Popcorn's favorite game mode is both SVR, so they probably have a good amount of stuff to say. But I did want to run down some of the replies of this tweet and just see good idea, bad idea, no names, um, just some of, some things that people replied with suggestions on how yeah, to evolve um, this game mode. Uh, this person says, make it permanent. It's all my homies' favorite game mode. What do you think? Um, no. <laughs> yes or no? Not a good idea. Nah. Little... It should be definitely the rotation, not a permanent one. Okay. Yeah. Um, for sure, for sure. Next, instead of, or since we have Wild West, what about a gangster mode where people get fedoras and the only weapons are Thomas guns and handguns? Do we like that idea? Yeah or nay? I feel like someone's gonna get offended by that, even if it's supposed to. Yeah, be it, it would be a little con. It would be a controversial take. You know? Yeah, there's a lot of um. Well, let's not get into that topic because I feel like that's no. a whole other issue. That it's, a whole can of worms. it's a whole, yeah, can, it's of whole can of worms. It's a whole can of worms. Uh, I what would be funny though is like just seeing a guy named Big Smoke running around, <laughs> but you know that's yeah. And that, plus, that's like, else that we how much are you gonna bet that people will use like the handgun? Mm. Thomas gun. Yeah, it's too it's too specific and also it's too yeah. touchy. Yep. Uh any of the replies, let's see. Oh yeah, sorry, let's keep going. Um <laughs> sorry, half of these are just completely unrelated. No, like, like I, I know, right? Like, hey, do you have pumas in your game yet? Here's the thing, when I saw that they were asking for feedback, my immediate response was, oh no. <laughs> um, someone actually, I did. I just saw this right now. Someone says, is the secret project going to be this year or next year? And Michael replied to it two days ago and said, this year, we're actually going to be revealing what it is pretty soon. Oh, hey, uh, there we go. That's I didn't interesting. See that. um, I would like a melee only uh, mode in... Mystery mode, what do we think? Honestly, they'd have I to make would, the gas boy faster. Yeah. If that were to be the case. If the gas was like maybe upwards of like 40% faster and it was like a really fast mode, I would be able to understand yeah. that. Like you'd only have things like bananas and skunks because I feel like grenades would be a bit too much. No. Yeah, it, it would be. Uh, if they do something with zip lines, hopefully then it might be fun for that as well but i do i definitely well, do actually, think no, there would be fun there would there would not be any point of zip lines though yeah because yeah. the gas is already moving fast so it's yeah. kind of hard to keep territory control with a fast moving gas so i guess that is a fair point but in either case i do think that it would be fun yeah it would be i also thought a specialty mode would be fun just where it's only specialty weapons mm. Um, let's see. We also had uh, mini guns only in mystery no. mode. 
Jesus that, Christ. That would be so happy. Hey, Wuzu, you better oh, say yes. Be, you said that's your favorite silly. gun. You better be all for yeah. it. But I want to be the only one who has it, that's not everybody. Crazy. That's <laughs> selfish. That's selfish. I am the only one. Yes, I am selfish. Player. That's hilarious. Um, someone says rubber bullet mode where bullets bounce off of terrain. Ooh, that, that would be programming that hell. That actually sounds yeah, hilarious. Yeah, it would be. I mean, okay, it already has to be funny, funny but. I know, because we do have ECG in terms of that, but I probably, okay, I don't know much about development on the back end, because I don't develop games, but I feel like when they were making the BCG, it was probably a pain in the ass to program the egg bouncing off a wall. Yeah, or maybe just certain <laughs> walls. Um... One last one I'll mention. This one's for you, Popcorn. It says, add CTF underscore two for it. Let's go. <laughs> TF2 thing. All right. Um, All interesting right. Things, the intel. Un interesting things here under this uh, tweet. We'll have to see what they decide to do with it. And um, it's weird. The most exciting thing to come out of this little portion was Michael replying to this random person and saying. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's definitely. <laughs> See, it's I'm good, telling uh, you, I'm telling you all of the info and a preview event, I swear, is going to happen while I'm gone this whole next week. I'm telling you it's going to happen. But, It'd uh, probably be like a week in advance. I'll no, yeah, because they do advance, announce though. things like a week in advance and announcements. So I do think that you're safe. All right, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay, tweet over, mystery mode conversation done. Let's see when it has the last little tidbit, and then we will be moving on to blocking down in a sec. Yes. Yep. All right, ready for blocking? All right, Popcorn, you've been our reader. Read out that uh, that long little paragraph. Oh, boy. Uh, a squad-based game mode where 40 survivors, or a total of 10 squads, work together to try and escape the island while an infection known as the Cluckles spreads across the island. Survivors must try not to get infected by Cluckles before rescue arrives. At the end of the game, any survivor in the evacuation zone will be rescued and win. If an animal is infected by the Cluckles... They will turn to zombie joes who must use their speed or sorry super speed and sensory skills to try and infect every last survivor before they escape the island so i have a lot to say about walking dead despite having my favorite game mode be as scr That's and it. that i i and the thing is my opinion of it is that the walking dead is horrendously imbalanced for multiple reasons, but I'm gonna, it's been I'm like gonna that save. Since, it's been like that since. Uh, no, yeah, time. I'm I'm gonna save like my whole rant about it till you guys actually have something to say because I I have like two really large so, things I want to get across. So originally in Walking Dead, um, when they implemented it uh, to the game, uh, <laughs> there was no uh, uh, skunk gas originally. So like oh, yeah, you, right. you could spawn anywhere on the map. There was no limited space. It started out as like a normal map. Yep. It would take forever though, but uh, oh god, I think like the inf the random infection was so weird back in back in the day. It was it was not really fun to be randomly infected, even though you had armor. Like they were even still if you had to fine clip. tune it. Yeah, they're still trying to find a, a balance for it, but yeah, it was, it felt like either to hu human survivor side or it felt too infected side. It, it, it also depended who was the infected as well. That so is like, true. If it's, a, if it's a new player, if it's all new players, it's going to be really hard for the infected to win. But if it's all pro players, it's going to be hard for the survivors to win. Yeah, which... I guess for some quick context, uh, how the infection starts is that four... Well, it actually scales with um, amount of players in the lobby, but that really only applies to uh, private matches because, you know, there's going to be filling up with bots at the end anyways. But if you are in a private match with, let's say, like 20 people instead of like 40, it will only spawn in two infecteds, whereas an actual 40 match will do like... Um, for infected, basically, yep. you have a well. Okay, the the chance isn't like flat, but pretty much it just randomly rolls four people to be infected on the map. And uh, red 
So I guess, I guess as a quick summary, uh, regular chickens, once you get infected, turn into a chicken, you die, you turn into a chicken. You have the base 100 health, you move... I forget the movement speed that you move at as a chicken. I forgot the exact... Let's see. Let me see. I could probably yeah, find it. Does anyone know that off the top of their head? Surely not. I used to, man, but like I... <laughs> that's too limited for even me. Um, or was it? It's probably on the wiki. It just says the movement speed is increased. Thanks, wiki editors. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh god. Well, it mention they mentioned the health and yeah. the armor pen. So so yeah, just I, as a quick showcase from what we can say, percent. you are inherently faster. Um, you basically you know have your normal melee swipes, but the main draw is upon hitting someone for a raw damage hit being no armor 10 percent infection chance for white chickens and red chickens have 30 extra health instead of 100 so 130 and yep. also a 15 percent infection chance uh this does get reduced by like armor with sequential hits which i will describe later in my little rant but like i said i want you guys to go ahead first because i have a painful amount of things to say um there's just some, several things I'm just not noticing. I've like played this game like four times in my life. I have no interest to play. Oh yeah, no game. fair. Nah. Um, there are, the name even with the, the reworks, the name are Sorry? actually called Zombie Joes and Red Zombie Joes. Is their official name? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, because uh, it's true. it's based off of Super Emerald tonight. And then I never realized there's, there's three it. moles. There's three moles that drop loot a game instead of two. And they yeah, guarantee they drop a much higher threshold of stuff from the mole. Huh, and then yep. I didn't know that uh, hamster balls and emus have lower spawn rates either. So all these... Yeah, they and... take more damage. Wait, and no, the, the, the handballs are one hit, I believe. Right. Yeah, handballs get one hit by chickens, and I mean, I emus, I think, takes three times damage? I forgot the amount. It's, it's like the same as, like, a melee. Yeah, it, it's basically a melee swing, but, like, amplified against the emu, because... No, what was the difference? I don't remember. Point is, Emu oh, go burr, okay. handball break instantly, skunk bombs no longer exist because they were broken on release because what you would do is on the evac zone, you just throw them all down and win. But yeah. um, and funny enough, there is no skunk bombs in this mode. Yep, and they removed you, it. And you cannot team kill with explosive barrels. I think they used yeah. to be so there just originally. a bunch of weird, random little things that I never knew. Yeah. It was meant to like do small balances throughout like the history of the game mode. Um, yeah, because skunk bombs and blocking were so powerful, especially end game. Wulu, what's your experience? What's your experience with experience with Walking Dead? I played the Water when it was released, but it was so unbalanced. <laughs> it really For example, were. the yeah, the skunk gas on the end, it was just a normal thing. Everyone would just gather skunk bombs and throw them at the end. It was ridiculous. It felt very survivor sided. It was, yeah. Uh, does anybody else have anything to say before I waste all your time? Yeah, what could you I mean... possibly be about to say here? I'm so confused. I thought okay. I thought we'd be getting your rant moment during uh, SVR because of the amount of. I actually have more to say about this mode than SVR, if I'm being honest. Okay. Interesting. I feel like I have more so... stuff to say for SVR. <laughs> Yeah, so long story short, I'll try to be as brief as possible with these. I have two... Well, I guess it really boils down to one very large issue with Walking Dead, and that's the armor mechanic. So, for people who don't know how this works, is that whenever you get hit in Walking Dead, let's say, hypothetically, you have a tier 3. It's 3 out of 3, tier 3, full health, the health doesn't really matter that much, but... You got a full tier 3. You get hit, you lose your armor, what happens is the infection chance is completely nullified. This would happen if you have a tier 1 armor, tier 2 armor, or just a tier 3 armor. As long as you have armor and you haven't been hit in a while, the infection chance is completely nullified. What will then happen is a 2 second timer will start. If those 2 seconds go by and you haven't been hit, that then next armor that you will be hit, because now you are at 2 out of 3, and then when they hit you again, you go down to 1 out of 3, will also be infection immune. But, if you get hit within those 2 seconds, you will then just take a reduced infection chance of, I believe, about 7%. 
for red chickens and it's much more reduced for like uh regular chickens as well and then that goes down to like yeah it's like four percent then seven percent or one percent and four percent for regular chickens for sequential hits and then you'll just be taking raw damage what my issue is is that the win rate for survivors right now is 25. The devs want it to be 15. Wait, really? My win rate in Walking Dead for Survivor is 35%. In how many games? Do you know? I don't fully remember how many games I've okay. played. But long story short, let's okay, let me That's just like crazy. try to find my profile. But yeah, no. That mechanic is absurdly abusable and nobody takes it into account now i'm not just like saying oh yeah you stay in the group you try to be as safe as possible no i roam and i have that win rate i stay on my own because i find it more enjoyable and fun uh i've played over a thousand uh, games of this but i want to really put into perspective so how busted it is because there was a time, I believe it was 76 or 78, it's been forever since like this happened, so I don't remember the exact number, but I went through those amount of games without getting infected once. All because I abused the mechanic as hard as possible. I didn't win every oh, game, oh. I did die on some games, but I just never got infected because I never got hit for an infection chance while I had my armor. I would only ever die to getting so swarmed that it doesn't matter or i just forgot to enter the circle or i would just win and all throughout those games no infection so my anger does stem a little bit from the fact that since the devs want to make survivors have a lower win rate but they won't lower the one thing that makes them have that win rate to begin with so i propose two changes one you just make the cooldown six seconds instead of two so that way it's not as stupid or you just make all armor infection immune and then you just reduce tape spawn rate by 50 percent out of everything i'm more concerned that they want it to be a 15 percent why not like 50 50. they because... really want it to be that rare that that you survive yeah nope yeah they do wait that's so strange okay i never knew that yeah, it's not supposed to be, like, as, completely survivor sided. As something is a small issue, that'll just, like, this This one's quick. Um, zombie XP gain is insane. You get 35 XP for every survivor killed, and since the match is only 6 minutes flat, you can quite literally get, like, 700 XP a game every 6 minutes. Which, yeah, because on you're, average... Because you're mailing. With no, yeah, so what you can do is you can just blow yourself up at the start of the match and have a 40% faster XP gain rate than any other mode in the entire game. So yeah, that, that's an abusable feature. But yeah, those are my two issues with Walking Dead. Sorry for the rant. Hope you enjoy your days. Let's move on if no one has anything else to say. Uh, any other follow-up comments on that? Uh, that's really interesting. Honestly, like, I, I kind of want there to be a little more diversity with Walking Dead because it's kind of like it, it kind of feels very stale Dude, as of like i know i personally don't understand how anyone plays it's that stale. game mode like, like you can play okay. one game and i'm just done like one and done like it's wow like i'd want to see more infected types to yeah be honest, like a there was the whole the whole concept smoker. of specialty yeah. infected which you basically just take it from like left for dead where you can spawn as like um special zombies yeah, you like, like you just want a charger, inside. a spitter, a smoker, a charger. Huh. Yeah, just more faster movement speed. speed, more damage, higher infection chance. You get a range shot or something. Like, Dude, yeah, there's a lot of ways that you, that you could do it, and you just have it like a random spawn chance, or it could be like SVR, I where if you get a certain amount of kills or damage, you just get an upgrade. Yeah, I would, I would actually play if it was something like that, where there's actually some sort of like unique sure. chance to be. For it to be interesting instead of you just perma just afk walking it wouldn't be that hard to program on top, of, on top of each other yeah it, it yeah. would solve a lot of stalemates because one of the largest issues that a lot of people complain about some matches being survivor sided when survivors group up a lot of them are just unkillable unless someone randomly rolls a good infection chance and there's that one zombie in the group that spawns in and kills the whole thing so there's just some times where it's unwinnable if everybody can figure out what they're doing Whereas mm -hmm. with Specialty Infected, you could get a really fast zombie going in there, a ranged zombie or a tank, I think and it would actually zombie, break up a just, They could just use the BCG mechanic. 
for that would be stomach. pretty interesting like you'd have to like charge it up for a while you could get it by like consuming mushrooms or something and then just be like yeah. and just shoot and a big skunk, lob and then skunk dude. mushrooms are just like double it they already have the expl oh yeah that's something i forgot to mention there's the explosion mechanics on the zombies where if you uh hit someone enough or eat enough mushrooms and then die it'll do an explosion that's like 40 damage Mm -hmm. it's, like the it's, thing. it's very weird it's not really that useful it's good for like getting a kill be you basically trade with someone which you know trading as a zombie mm -hmm. is always a good thing but still it's very odd i feel like just making like an exploder zombie that has that as a projectile or something would be really interesting but yeah no there's a lot of potential for walking dead i think as of right now it would probably be deemed as the most stale game mode as it's not really very changing it's fun when you don't play it for a while and then come back to it for like 10 or so games you're like oh yeah wow it's really fun to play fast paced as a chicken or something but that's about it you can really only play it like every i'd say like bi once in a while yeah i think it would honestly be better as like a bi-monthly thing because people would have enough time to forget about it and actually enjoy it again mm -hmm. But yeah, that's my rant Alrighty. over. Sorry about that. We have a few more things that we want to hit. And uh, oh, actually, just one more. Yeah. Uh, well, really? I said we, we were going to hit SVR, and then there's a retired game mode that I thought that we might speak on for a second. Yeah. And then we'll talk about some just suggestions for things that we would like to see add in the future. So a few more things to go. Let's uh, hit up our last official alt game mode right now, which is SVR. All right. A unique squad space 24v24 uh, game mode where players are split into Saw, which is the super animal world, well, forces being the security forces, or SASR, the super animal super rebellion, which is the opposing team fighting the Saw. The objective of the game mode is for teams to control the most control points being little flags of A, B, and C, which standard spread across the map. Um, and you want to control them to retain these things called reinforcement points. Basically what that is, it's it's your team health bar. It goes down when they have more flags, when, you, when they kill someone in your team and they respawn, or the mole dies and the enemy team opens up the crate, then they lose points, yada yada. Basically, you just want to preserve your health bar and lower theirs. Uh, long story short, you join in and you are greeted with five classes being scout medic assault sniper and heavy each of these have preset loadouts and after getting four kills or in medic's case um 300 healing or four kills and for everyone's case capturing one flag gives you one tick all those four you can then upgrade it upon dying and then coming back to that menu being the respawn you get the upgraded kit it gives you more stuff and you'll be able to figure out what it is by playing it i'm not going to explain what every class's kit does we'll probably get to that as a group discussion but point is basically it's 24 people with multiple kits fighting for yep. turf control so yeah that's uh as here in a nutshell there are eight maps i believe going listing down it is pyramid mountain ice palace bamboo research labs the Saw Labs farm, and is that eight, or did I only mention seven? There's eight. Did I mention all of them, or? I don't know. I don't know. Point is, you get your like low class concept. Um, I think it would be pretty easy to discern what each class does just based upon their name alone. But if not, Scout has good scouting capabilities with skunks. Uh, medics, they heal. Uh, assault, basically frontliner, does a lot of damage. Sniper, the pick and ping class of the group. You basically pick people's armor, or just like kill them from far. And heavy has the shotgun and magnum, usually for zone control. They also have a grenade. Um, every class has an upgrade kit. These weapons change for each upgrade. Point is, there's a lot to talk about for each kit, but let's try to be as general as possible. Uh, does anybody have anything to say on SVR? before um, I get my grubby little hands all over it. Uh, not much, really. Like, it, I do like that when it first came out, it was probably like one of the best game modes I've ever seen. And then eventually, uh, when they 
realized, oh, this game mode is a little too long. Uh, they implemented a, a comeback feature where you fight a mole, a star nosed mole named Twinkle. And Twinkle has a mole crate that uh, if any team kills Twinkle first, they will get a 60 minute speed. No, not 60 minutes, 60 seconds. 60, seconds. 60 minutes? Transfer that to your next game. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got confused for a second. It's like the Eden's blessing and binding of Isaac. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kinda. But yeah, you get a 60 second speed boost, and uh, you the point of Twinkle is to capture that mole crate and lower the enemy's points. So by a hundred, which is honestly is a good feature if uh, your team is is is, a, is behind, but it's not always guaranteed. Yeah, I got my issues with the mole. I'm not gonna bring it up because that's uh, I could talk about mole for literal days. But yeah, uh, ooh, I you don't play SVR that much from like my memory. I know that you play it sometimes, and you are a scout main from my memory. Nope, I only play medic. medic. Yeah, medic. Okay, fair enough. My mistake. But yeah, you do yep. have a fair amount of control point games to play, just not as much compared to something like squads. Uh, but do you have anything to say on, like, the kits? Classes, like, favorite map? I don't really have a favorite map, I just think the... Oh, how do I say it? The way the game mode is made, it's just swarms of enemy players rushing towards you. There's not really one class to pick, it's just assault if you want to win. Like, every team, Ooh, every member can pick it up. Assault players! <laughs> <laughs> they can just I mean, rush and win. It's, it's I mean, you don't ridiculous. always have to rely on one class to win. Like I've, I've, hey, man, what's these I've gotten top up? kills with sniper. <laughs> oh no, yeah, sniper. I think is more a uh, skill flex choice class in terms of like getting a good amount of like kills sniper with. or scout. I'd say. Honestly, but yeah, no. Um, with as much as I complain about people who only pick assault and hold mouse one in the center flag. I honestly think that all the classes are fine how they are. I wouldn't really change much. Like, I mean, they I changed Scout something. a couple of times. Yeah, I feel like oh yeah, no, they nerfed Scout and, and Medic probably got the Scout and Medic probably got uh, the most changes. I'm far. saying like even if I had the opportunity to, I don't even think I would nerf Assault or anything. Like, I think I would just keep no. it how it is. Yeah, but I did, Assault was fine. I did bully Popcorn. Popcorn was yeah. the other day and was SPR, and they clicked Assault and said boo in chat. Yeah, and then I switched to Sniper and oh got top kills. And then you yeah. switched and got top, and I'm like, there we go. That's what we like to see, baby. Let's go. I don't, I don't just play Assault. I have anything pocket mains. Assault. Yeah, anything but Assault. Look, um, like, what I will get across quickly is that... In terms of like actual SVR uh, quote unquote meta, for the longest time it just was Scout reigning far yeah, really? supreme as a top. Oh yeah, no. I think a lot of people don't look at the skunk bombs in a control point game mode where you have oh. the ability to have good zone control for eight seconds a bomb. And the fact that he had two of them off rip. On Mountain, and this is especially, there was a whole thing of, called uh, Scout Rushing, and what it basically was, two people in like a coordinated group would pick Scout, one person would pick Assault, and one person would pick Sniper, one, uh, one of the Scouts would throw their bomb, and then this would proceed on for 32 seconds of just controlling the middle point, whereas the Sniper and Assault player would just pick off people that try to move around it, because it's really awkward. So... You could literally just have one squad controlling B-point for 32 seconds, hmm. all because of Scout. And the reduction of it by going from like, um, it was two, it was two and four to one and three, yeah. it was, I do think it's pretty good uh, change. I personally think that Scout could use a little bit more of a nerf. I don't think that it deserves to have a literal tier three while also having a silence pistol and a sparrow launcher, but hey, that's just me. Uh, I feel like I should have a tier is, two. A, a tier two is yeah, fine. Yeah, I, I think a tier two is much like safer for it scout. doesn't feel it honest. doesn't feel like a scout class you know no, oh hey look it's nah. not me this time Who it's not it? me this time Who was it? <laughs> it was me it's, oh wow easy that's crit okay i'm just okay I'm Lulu, sure for some silent. context for some context every episode we've had someone have their phone go off last episode was the only one 
where we didn't have it, and I think someone's went off at the very end and we couldn't figure out who it was. This episode, not too easy. Because it was always it's me normally, in the past. It was always popcorn. Vindication. <laughs> I know it was always me, but now it's you. Well, now you have our permission to go ahead and unsilent your phone and pull it again. You, you're ready. You, you also have full permission to make fun of Wheezy as much as you want. Anywho. No. Oh my God. Okay, you did it way more often. This is just a one-time thing. Yeah, but thing. they're not here. They're all here right, now. All so right, hey, focus up. This focus is going to be a one-time thing. All focus right, so, up. but... If I were to look at the very opposite end of the scale, I'd probably say Heavy <laughs> is the one that needs the most love in the game mode, because Heavy 2, I think, is pretty well balanced overall. I feel like my I made a suggestion a while back to let people choose certain parts of their loadouts, like if they didn't want an SMG, they could take pistols, or if they didn't want pistols, they could take an SMG, but it'd be like a lower rarity depending on like DPS and like usage of it. But for Heavy, I suggested that you have the option of basically saying, oh yeah, instead of a BCG, you can use a Deagle, but it would default as a BCG, because, personal opinion, I think that uh, the Impossible Tape and the BCG are the only redeeming qualities of Heavy entirely. Because a lot of people love Magnum, and I completely understand that. The thing is, though, this is not a mode for Magnum. You are no, seeing a good nine people every single area you turn. Magnum's only going to do so much, whereas BCG clumps. Heavy yeah, one. So, someone tried to is... suggest having a Deagle instead of a BCG. I'm like, no, that just no. Just it would it heavy. would kill the class. But it's not yeah, even no, heavy it at this point. <laughs> like, here's the issue though. Heavy one, I feel like, is the biggest issue because his entire kit is so weak. The shotgun basically doesn't do anything. The Jag is nice, but it's not great. And the Magnum isn't good unless you are like a literal god on a level of something like uh, Light, Icy, or Isabel back in their heyday, or even someone like Nub Mike or Sayo. Like, you'd have to be on that level to make Magnum work for Heavy that well. But it just needs some love. I think that either giving it like maybe a tier two on stage one or the impossible tape on stage one. And, or even just making layer. every... I, I feel like Sniper could get the Bandolier, if I'm being honest. I don't think it necessarily needs the Bandolier. Because yeah. with the Bandolier, it doesn't do much. And I feel like for Sniper, it's just enough to have like one extra tape and more ammo for your Sniper to be nice. Cause yeah, zero cover, I'd say. Ammo is not an issue in SVR <laughs> at all. And I will say this, maybe a controversial take. If you run out of ammo in SVR... It's a skill issue. You're a KDA Bull player. And <laughs> <laughs> then you have a big skill issue because you always turn out of ammo as a medic. Hitting that everyone. That is true. Walk that's probably to like the, the points. Only, that's probably the only okay class, though. Wait, I, just I Okay, I can understand medic to a fair degree. That one I can understand. Any other class, shut up. Go to the point. Go to yeah, remember medic used to have Thomas gun. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, okay. And oh, people would crazy. only play the Thomas. Medic was overpowered on release, dude. It yeah. should not have had a Thomas gun. That's cool. um, and it was 40 bullet Thomas, too. Not 30. Jesus. Wu, as our esteemed guest, I just want to hear more of your thoughts. Anything else? Notes that you wrote down about SVR? I'm sorry for Your feelings, topic. changes, anything in between? It gets um, pretty stale if you play it for more than a day. I think it just needs more modes. And not much more modes, yeah. I mean more... Yeah, kind of more modes, like different objectives. For example, you can have a moving objective, you can have a defend and attack uh, team. Ooh, wow. That, that... Yeah. Uh, if there was a different just moral reward each time, it would be pretty interesting. Actually it really would. Really fun. It brings more... It would actually be probably the best mode there is as of now, if it had way more game modes within Super surveillance itself. Yeah. I also thought of a, a different class, which was literally just pistol and like Magnum, and it would be like a duelist kind of character. But it'd be a little I too strong, like, though. I, I feel like it would cramp on heavy style because you know mm -hmm. it, it has like the Magnum, and it's a bit too versatile. I think. Yeah. So, you know, balance aside, yeah. It's, there's. It's hard to like change many things about SVR due to the state of how it is, but I definitely do feel like some flags could be moved, some locations could have like some of their walls open up. Like literally, 
map got changed specifically for SVR. Yeah, uh, the mountain, one. sorry. Yeah, no, and security. But oh, really? yeah, because security got the little top left hole in the wall opened up. It was just uh, for SVR. No, uh, sorry, uh, the security HQ. Yeah, it just got a little hole in the wall opened up, but it hmm. came in for the other game modes as well. It was meant for SVR, but no, it got added in for everything else. But which Mountain, I think is fair. Mountain was my favorite one because they literally just removed chunks out of like four different walls. Yeah, I noticed that. It was just to open up the map because it was so claustrophobic. It was even claustrophobic when it came out. Oh my god. So. For me at least it was, but I don't Alrighty. know. Alrighty. Saw versus Rebellion. Uh, Legacy. Definitely needs definitely needs something. Oh, sorry, I was still talking about the old one. Uh, uh, definitely yeah. needs something to freshen it up. We'll see what, like they said, they're not going to just be looking at mystery mode, but all game modes when um, the regular cycle of content or creation comes back. So uh, we'll see what happens like with that. Best spot compared to all the other modes. Like I would definitely like to see mystery mode first get its improvement, mm. then Walking Dead. And then I feel like SVR could be like left till the end because I think it can no, I'm actually with you on that. itself I'm actually for like on that. a while. But I do think that they should see like some changes regardless because yeah, like they that. do get like stale and it would be nice to refresh it. All right. Now there's one more thing that we're really hitting and that is a retired game mode that I didn't even know really existed. Whenever I look at Royale.pet, it says 32 versus 32. I thought it was just talking about Saw versus Rebellion, but yeah, apparently yeah. this is its mm -hmm. own thing. And um, you guys can take this away because I have no clue what this was. <laughs> what it should have been, why it was retired, any of that. So, yeah. so I, would I you know, like to read it, Weezy, or? Yeah, so uh, it says, a 32 versus 32 team-based deathmatch capture the flag squad's base game mode. Players are put on a team of 32 people, bots are included, uh, but are in a squad of four people. So the goal of this game mode is to either eliminate all enemies or successfully hold three out of four flags around the island for a set amount of time. Once either of these conditions have been met, the players on that team will win the match. The player's hat cosmetic will always be either a saw helmet or a rebellion helmet, depending on what the team the player is on. If a player's squad gets eliminated, they will be able to collect the rewards for the match and leave. This game mode was retired with the version 1.4 update, changing the game mode entirely. So, To current SVR. Uh, something yeah, quick so I want to get out of the way, no response in this game mode. It was basically squads with no classes. Uh, you just like drop in from the eagle going up to the control point area. You had the entire map to explore, but gas like came in quick. And there was four <laughs> flags. And flags there took was. 12 seconds to cap. Yeah. It was oh, actually God. one of the game modes I got to test when I was in Animal Army. Yeah. Man, and, like I and some people like message me about it. So that's right. <laughs> like, because uh... they're like, how, how how are you playing this game mode? Like, I want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh boy. And they said yeah. they said like, oh, I deserve to play this game mode because like I'm so well known. But I'm like, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, some side lore. It was. I couldn't say much about it. <laughs> Wasn't it technically the first limited time game mode to be released, or was the mystery mode? Because I think no, it was it was that one. Yeah, because that one came out in t late 2020, whereas mystery mode was like April Fools of 2021. Yep. So yeah, this game mode like came in first, and the main issues with it, of course, was that if a flag got capped, it can just be overtaken by gas and never capped again, mm -hmm. which. Yeah, it was an issue for like really odd stalemates um it really you, was. once you killed someone they're dead so the mid fight was just extremely chaotic for i think a good minute and then everything died down uh it then became a goal of defending uh c and b being the two middle points because a and d were just left alone and there were times where i saw that ring close all the way because both sides had their flags Yep. Uh, capped and so it just like closes all the way and it pretty much boiled down to like two squads duking it out but you had to find your own loot there wasn't enough loot to go around for some people so you had some people who were like playing support yeah, struggling for ammo yeah um 
there was no class system so yeah no there was no classes so literally like some people just straight up were running around with their melee it was funny but it was a hectic mess i do wish that they would bring it back like just as a private match feature that like you could play but i think it would yeah. just be too much on the server so like add that in i don't know i don't know like the development for it but still it is it was a very unique approach to like a new game of type you could tell just from like the original looks of it or just like even hearing it out it's like pixel's first time experimenting with the concept of like limited modes but yeah, yeah at its sure. time it was like revolutionary for the game because you just <laughs> had like normal squads and such and then all of a sudden boom you had a whole new concept for like how you played the game you had point control, yeah. and, like, everyone was jumping from Nemo. It was insane. They also released this alongside the... Um, the game went up for shop. Yeah. Now, Wulu, were you around during this? Shortly, they removed it um, soon after. I've played it a bit when it was, like, in its final days. Let's call it like this. Okay. And it's not fun for new players. Not it really not isn't. No. It, it's it doesn't really help new players at all. I oh. felt so bad for some of the people who were playing it for the first time when they were just starting because it, yeah, it look hey, you know how some people can get really kill hungry, like the type of people who put on the snorkel just to chase someone in gas for a solid fifteen <laughs> seconds. Well, imagine snorkel, that. Yeah. Imagine yeah. that, but just everyone in the game mode was like that. Like, you literally saw people bloodthirsty for a kill. And a good part of the reason was because ammo and guns were scarce. There wasn't yeah, enough was, to go around, so everyone wanted that. their guns. I was too! <laughs> <laughs> everyone was, man. Yeah. Literally, because like that's how you had to play the game mode. You had to be as hyper-aggressive as possible. Whenever people were capping flags, you had to have, like, six of your homies watching your back. <laughs> While you were capping the flag because it took 12 seconds that's seriously crazy mm -hmm. well it, uh, i mean you, you, you can search up on, you can search up players. what 32v32 was like so. there, there's a lot of videos on uh, youtube about it do you think that it will ever come back in a different sort of version or is that long gone it's long gone it could come it's, back as a private match game. feature but it's long gone yeah for long. sure all right. Well, um, one main thing that we want to talk about, this is where I feel like everyone can be a little bit more vocal. Obviously, I had to stay quiet because I had no idea what that was. No idea what you guys were talking enough. about. Um, is just last thing before we go, some sort of uh, or some different game modes and ideas that we would like to see added as official modes, rather rotating, permanent, whatever. As What's official go modes go, it would be a bit hard to like put a lot of the most popular community suggestions like things like a dodgeball and hide and seek because official modes but i think as a Those preset build yeah like if you were to have it as a preset build and like private lobbies like you're just like clicking through the game and you see oh dodgeball hide and seek and like there were like preset like uh restrictions put codes in to like set up how the game mode works it would be a really nice thing for streamers and just event hosters in general. But as official game modes go, it's kind of hard to create something that would be long said, open to the public, because getting a bunch of people to coordinate well enough to play hide and seek or dodgeball in public game mode without people telling them what to do would kind of be, I'm gonna say impossible, just very, very hard. <laughs> You also have to factor in the fact that there's the famous joke, new players can't read, and that gets amplified for something like that. Yeah, it would. So, I can't really say anything to be official, but set aside as like a private lobby thing? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Also, I think like most of the additional game modes, I wouldn't really make them separate. Like... If there were to be like a control point or capture the flag, it would just be an SVR. Yeah. You just make an additional uh, mode within the mode. And things like hide and seek and hamster ball race against stuff like this would belong in mystery mode 
At least they well, feel like this. Have some more races. Yeah. yeah, I feel like they'd be a mystery mode. It could be a mystery mode feature. Hey, maybe that's what they're working on. Uh, I don't exactly know what they could do for blocking, to be honest, but... I just think the special infected concept is... Huh. This is weird. I thought we would have a lot of ideas, but I feel like you guys are Honestly, right. It's, it's kind of hard, hard to... It is. It's like official. I, I do remember there was, on, there was one concept that I had a good discussion back. I forgot who it was. I think it was Pathforger. Uh, I don't remember exactly everybody, but what it was was a game mode concept called Starved, and the whole mechanic of it was that everything spawned way less. Like, guns were rare, ammo was rare, tape was rare, juice was rare, and you basically had to be really aggressive and really ammo, like, uh, ammo efficient, or else you just run out of ammo. Uh, I always thought that it would be a good way to teach people, like, the whole concept of ammo efficiency and knowing when to heal in a situation and when to not. But... I think that th something like that could make it as a limited time game mode because you could just make it so that honestly you can make it so that it's like a thing where it just rotates every once in a while between like squads twos and solos where it just has a little indicator above them saying hey this game mode has the starved modifier for this day. I feel like that would be the easiest way to go about I feel something like, like that. I feel like that this is going to be a hot take but like I feel like the hardest mode to like put is a legacy mode. Yeah. I would definitely a thousand percent would have a legacy mode in the game. Just visiting the old map of Super M Royale Ooh. and seeing what the game was like in 2018. Dude, that could be cool. And like an alpha 19. mode. Yeah, like a throwback yeah. mode. They've they've done that in a ton of games, playing the original. Yeah, they did that in maps and they did that in Apex. They've done that in Rainbow Six Siege even. So I think Fortnite did that. I don't pay attention. Yeah, Fortnite also did that. OG, yeah. Oh, okay. I would OGs. love to see an OG season for Super Mario. Right It'd be huh. interesting to give a lot of new players the uh, whole experience of uh, what it was it like way back in the day. day. Yeah, I'm just like watching. I, I'm they watching probably the have right the now. file. <laughs> they probably have the file for like the map somewhere, but I don't know. It would be because I even myself like I never played back in um 2019 or 2018 like i joined midway 2020 so literally yeah, i joined I'm... right as bows were being added so yeah you guys never got to see what uh <laughs> i never got to see what the giant, giant mound of water on the top right of the map was <laughs> the giant nuclear crater of water for some reason yeah welcome that's Saturday bikini exists. bottom right there Alrighty, other than that, any other notes about game modes in general, Wulu? Final thoughts? I don't think I have anything to add. I feel like I could speak for Wulu. Squads is fun, bring your friends along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Experiment with multiple different types of gameplays. Enjoy other game modes if you want to enjoy them. I feel like that's something Very Wulu chaotic. would say. It's just about the fun in the end. Yeah. 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 It's a video game. You gotta have fun. Super Morale is a very simplistic game. It's, it's easy to pick up, but this. You it know what? It's time to start. Skill ceiling. Time to start <laughs> gatekeeping. You gotta be this tall to play the video game. <laughs> <I> Excuse <laughs> me? <laughs> I Let's can go. Every game mode. Oh, man. boy. Lulu, how many game modes are you getting in? Secret. Uh oh. <laughs> Secret is crazy. All right. Probably ain't um, getting in many either. Yeah, thank you guys for watching Sarcast episode four. Talked about a ton of different game modes, and hopefully, I've said that. I feel like I've said this at the end of every single episode. Hopefully, we will be getting more information on season eleven coming out soon. Trademark. <laughs> trademark soon. Trademark. Um, just go through and final thoughts before we end the episode. Yeah. Uh -oh. Final thoughts. Uh this album plus this ratio got him lamo xd uh no nothing take me to the old sar <laughs> well, you are the boomer of sar aren't you you're the yes little, i am i'm like the only boomer left in 2018 saved me yeah. he saved me 2018 that's crazy 
All right. I still wish I played around town. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next week for a discussion about who knows what, because we'll never know what sort of informations will be found out this week and what new exciting Can't things that we'll have to talk about. Uh, thank yeah. you for joining us, Wulu. Much appreciated for having you. Yeah. It was nice to meet you. It too. was lovely. Yeah. And um, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye. Bye bye.